going like crazy for your country. It's, I mean, I love it. You know, my dad was over here with the army in, uh, I guess it was 1940. Hey, did you decorate this place yourselves? Because, I mean, it's damn nice. It's real oriental kind of a feel to it. Do you speak English? I'm just curious. We all speak English. Continue, please. We may as well get started, right? Because I know you guys have like a long day of uh, staring at you. <laughs> Where are the lights? Yes. Jesus. Okay, here we go. Whoa, how'd that get in there? Yikes. Whoops. Oh, ho ho. <laughs> That's Hazel Lockwedge. Hazel's unit was responsible for uh, putting out over 100,000 car engines in one year. And I think the key word here is uh, put out. <laughs> Putting out. OK. This is, uh, that's, uh, why can't we just run the plant the way we did before? I mean, uh, we did pretty good. If you did pretty good, then why are you Present our ideas. Do not be influenced by the fact that uh, we are going to give you your first executive position with a very big raise in pay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why would I? Don't. No, I won't be influenced by that. <laughs> this is great. Assuming, of course, that the factory does open. Right. Well, I already assumed that. We did not. Can we count on you? Fellas, the frog's ass watertight. Watertight, one man down. Yes, we believe it is. We must, must be, a be a team, team. One, one with, with one, one purpose, purpose only. Everyone, Everyone thinking only of company. company. We, will we will begin, begin with our morning exercises. Jumping duck. Yeah. Uh, we're not having it's a good started. beginning. Yeah, well, see, these guys aren't really used to getting up in the morning. I oh. do not blame you, even though you are the leader. OK, sit tight. <laughs> I say we do it. Oh, bullshit, man. No oh, way. Yeah. crazy. Wait, Come on. <laughs> Why not? You never exercise. Oh, you, know. oh. you know what this is like? You know what this is? It's like the first week in high school. If you wore jeans, you got in big trouble. Right by October, they didn't care if you wore pants, which you didn't a couple times. <laughs> oh, <not laughs> that one time. All right. But anyway, do it a couple days. Don't forget about it. I'm telling you. Duck hop. Oh. Duck hop. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think things are going at the factory? Honestly, Cass? Yes, please. Not too well. Uh, see, you're stateside now, fellas, and to tell you the truth, you're still acting like a bunch of Yokohama mamas. No offense. None taken. Can I, can I be frank for a second? <laughs> I've heard a lot of talk about uh, how good the Japanese businessmen are. Quite frankly, I'm sorry. I don't get it. I don't see it. I'm not impressed. Not when I order. You're fired. What? 
Why? I do not understand American workers. They come five minutes late, leave two minutes early. They stay home when they are sick. They put themselves above company. Well, you seem to feel the same way as they do. Okay, excuse me, but explain something to me. When this was an American factory, production was up 10% higher than it is with you guys. Now, explain that to me. 10%? Yeah. In Japan, the production in same size factory is 40% higher. With superior quality. That's impossible. How can you guys work that fast? Japanese worker is very loyal to company. He's very proud when company does well. He's ashamed when it does poorly. I can know. In Japan, when production lags, worker stays longer in factory. Okay, overtime. Hey, we can talk about overtime. Time and a half is standard. Now, they do not do it for pay. They do it for company. <laughs> yeah, but that's there. This is here.